Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? Yes, you know what I'm saying? I'm leaning back. Me. Me. What? Me. What? 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 Story time. This story time gonna be about the time I'm in my whole classroom smell like shit. So I'm gonna get straight into it. Uh, this was in middle school. It took part in middle school. I remember, uh, wasn't really a hygienic kid. Didn't care about that. It was just gaming, anime, and shit. WWE. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas was acting weird like WWE fell off when I was in middle school. I was definitely one of them niggas still with them action figures playing and shit. Don't get it twisted. Nah, but I remember the night before, I didn't take no shower either. I was one of them. I'm not gonna lie to you. Smelt like shit. Like, my sheets were brown. I believe I got them, like, light blue. I turned them hoes burgundy. I swear, look. Nah, but this takes place way back in middle school. I remember I didn't take a shower before. Yada, yada, this, that, and the third. And I definitely didn't use deodorant. See, me, a nigga like me, I'm a try hard. First class, it was like a block class. I had math. And in between, I had to go to the gym, get some extra, you know what I'm saying? Some exercise and shit like that in the third. I remember we had the pacer test, and after we finished that, we could definitely do whatever we wanted. See, me, I'm not gonna lie, I always had that dog in me. That dog. Everybody was trying to get 20 on the pacer test and be done as they could talk to their friends, 30. Nah, a nigga like me was trying to hit 100. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would definitely try my ass off. I remember every day, look, I was wearing the same fit like a cartoon character. It was a long polo hoodie, some jeans, and some LeBrons. And I had a little flat top. I think it was a boosty fade. Don't know for sure. But I definitely wore that fit every day. You would think I was a cartoon character. Word to mo. Nah, but I'm over here. I think I finished 87 on the pacer test. Tired as hell. Niggas congratulating me. Some niggas mad. They're like, dude, we just want to talk to our friends. I don't get a fuck. Not gonna lie. I don't get a fuck. Now look. I remember after that, we chose to play basketball half court. And we doing teams of four. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. All the hugs watching. So... I, I was definitely ass at basketball. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I would shoot and hit the top of the backboard. I remember one time I shot, I, I did a triple, dribble, dribble, tween, shoot. I thought that hoe was going in. Right over the backboard and hit a spag kid in the head. Word to mo. I'm hooping and shit. I averaged at least about 0.2 points, uh, 14 assists, 2 rebounds, and uh, 17 good jobs, 18 claps, you know what I'm saying? But I was still doing my thing, having fun. As I'm finishing and uh, we're walking back to class, no teacher directs us. We just walk straight out the gym and then back to the classroom. They trusted us. But as we're doing that, um, I realized, like, my arms are a little heavy and shit. You know what I'm saying? They, they a little heavy. A as a matter of fact, my shirt was feeling a little hot. You know, I, I, had, a, I had a few of these. A few of these. I say, I say about six of these. You feel what I'm saying? About seven of these. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And uh, about eight of these. My, my big niggas know about this one. About eight of these. On the way back to class. I ain't have no deodorant, no wipes, no nothing. As I'm doing my math and shit, I'm noticing the stench is, like, slowly creeping out. It's slowly fishing out. So, like... As the author of the smell, the narrator, you gonna know when your stench is coming out. So, you know what I'm saying? I raised my hand to the teacher, I gotta use the restroom. And at this time, it was a devious class. I think we only had one restroom break per class. Like, if I were to use it, nobody else could use the restroom. And every time someone would use the restroom, someone would, they, the whole class would look at them like, Really, man? Really? It's so important you gotta use the restroom? Because the thing was, if one person used the restroom, we couldn't go on break. Like, the whole class had a break. Like, a bathroom break. But if one person used it... No break. You gotta wait till the whole next break, whole next period, the whole next class, you know what I'm saying, to go use the restroom. But I ain't gonna lie, this was definitely an emergency. SOS. Like, I needed that shit. So I went in there, and you might be thinking, bro, what are you gonna do? Like, you have no deodorant, no nothing. How are you gonna save yourself? This guy, look, <laughs> I was already ahead of the game. Did it work? No. <laughs> but I had some napkins. Put some water on that hoe. And I'm sorry for all the hoes watching. I did put some soap on that hoe. I ain't gonna hold you. Put some soap. Folded that bitch. Rub that bit together. I'm thinking I made homemade soap at home. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the bathroom with my shirt off. Just washing my pits. Tight shit. Washing my pits. Tight shit. Washing my pits. Type shit. So I think I'm straight. I get back to class feeling good about myself. You know what I'm saying? Self-esteem at a high. Confidence at a high. Over here raising my hand, answering questions and shit. I'm getting them right. I think I got three out of four. She's like, Tyrell, you're doing very good today. You're so focused. I'm like, thank you so much. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it was. I was just at a high that day. You feel me? You know what else was at a high? <laughs> My hygiene, pH levels. Now listen this out. I remember it was a question. Some was, some was, I don't know. Some was some shapes or some shit, bruh. But I raised my hand. As I'm raising my hand, I feel that stench get out again. I put that bitch down so fast. Put that, put that bitch down so fast. He said, Tyrell, did you have to answer? Nah, I don't know it. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it slowly creep out. Now real niggas know about this musty move. And if you do, you're really a musty nigga. But you're a real nigga though. Don't get it twisted. You know about this move. Kept my arms at a low level, down, down. I kept them hoes so tucked to the point where I didn't want nothing going on. But at the same time, I still had to write notes. So I would take my pencil and shit. I take my pencil, I'm writing notes. 
and the girl beside me is like, cause, cause at the time we was connected like right next to each other. It was like, if you've ever been in one of them, one of them classrooms, y'all had to discuss a topic in a classroom, you know what I'm saying? Like that, and then, you know what I'm saying? I got a picture right here just in case. I'm right here, elbows tucked, you know what I'm saying? Shoulders close as hell, damn near kissing each other, writing notes. And she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I just look at her like, cause, cause like, you don't know what I got going on, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you should mind your business and focus on this lesson. You're really falling behind. I'm ahead of you. You feel me? But I'm chilling. And so I thought, you feel me? I remember uh, my pencil dropped and I had to bend over and get that hoe. As I'm bending over, uh, my armpit had to, it had to get some air. That's all it took. As soon as I bend over, uh, that shit spread it. That shit spread across the whole classroom. And it had to be that one hot chip, long lash, big boot wearing ass bitch that had to say something. She said, oh my God, what's that smell? And everybody's like, yeah, I smell it too. I've been smelling it since the class started. Oh my God. So now I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, oh my God, what that smell? You feel me? I have to play along. What the hell? I'm a culprit. What if they catch me? <laughs> I'm done for. What are you talking about? The class is going on and she keeps going. Oh my God, it smells like 10 cans of bounce that ass. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never wanted to round my right hand up and rock a bitch so fast in my life. I'm not gonna lie. She was finna catch this hoe. Did I know how to fight? No. But she was definitely finna catch this hoe. I, I forgot to mention at the time I did have a girlfriend and she was in the class too, but she was on a whole nother side. But she definitely did find out. You know what I'm saying? Because of that loud mouth ass bitch. I ain't gonna hold you. I still got beef with her. Niggas be talking about let go of the past. Nah, nigga. I hold grudges. <laughs> I hold so much grudges. I'm not gonna lie to you, bruh. I remember my mama said she was gonna hold on to my money one time when I was little. She's about a thousand dollars in debt. I'm gonna be real with you. I definitely hold grudges. So look, the teacher goes and says, we have a project that we have to do and we have to pair up in floors. At this time, I already had my group. Real niggas already had that group. See, look, when you was low-key the class clown back in the day, bro, you had all the hugs, all the niggas. No, did You had all the, you know what I'm saying, all the guys and shit. Everybody was fucking with you. You feel what I'm saying? But niggas, see, look, look, niggas get this twisted. They think a class clown is slow. Nah, nigga, I had that knowledge. See, when you a class clown and you smart, infinite aura. I'm not gonna lie to you. Everybody was fucking with you. Even the principal. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You can say a joke. The teacher would even... <laughs> they let out a little laugh. They can't let it out for real, though. You know what I'm saying? Can't let it get off topic. You feel what I'm saying? I already had my group before in mind, but the teacher was like, I'm gonna be choosing them though. <sighs> Say you swear to God. You know, I wasn't even mad because like, I was cool with everybody in the class except this one person. Yes, her, we all know who. This loud mouth ass bitch. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you. I could be paired up with a gorilla and still get the assignment done rather than her. We just don't. Water and oil, we don't go together. You feel me? But she said she gonna make it fair. She had a whole bunch of sticks, you know what I'm saying? Real niggas know about the cuffing the sticks, and you pull the stick out and choose the names and shit and whatnot. So she's choosing them, you know what I'm saying? As she's calling out the names, I'm getting ready. I'm the last group. Says my name, pulls out my nigga name, my gal name. I'm like, alrighty, you know what I'm saying? This a this a this a comp group. I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm laid back. I'm chilling, laid back, feet up. Last name, she pulled out her name. Now look, at the time when we got together, I fuck around, crack a few jokes on the ad, but she noticed something was different. She noticed the energy was off. I ain't say no words to her, neither know my girlfriend or my guy. You feel me? So she's like, why are you so quiet? <sighs> Got me to start talking. You feel me? I'm like, it's not my day right now. Word for word. She's like, well, all right. And then she's like, did y'all smell that earlier? That stench was literally gonna burn off my nose. Like, like who just says shit like that? She's literally dragging it. Because at the time, I feel like she knew it was me, but just like on some arch nemesis shit, like villain shit, just like tagging me, bruh. I'm like, nah, I ain't smell it. I don't know what you're talking about. My nigga's like, yeah, I ain't smell that shit. And my girl's like, I don't know. I wasn't really focused on it. She's like, well, okay. At the time going on, we have at least, I think, 25 minutes left in the class. And then we switch to the next class. So I got 25 minutes. The timer is at 25 minutes until I go to the next one. My armpits got 25 minutes until they break out. I'm praying to God. Nothing happens. You feel me? I remember the teacher telling me to um, go and turn off the lights since we're closest to the light switch. I get up and I have to pull out, I have to pull out my chair. But a nigga like me, you know what I'm saying? I pushed up and moved the desk. As I'm moving the desk, my armpits did open a bit. And she said, oh my God, you stink. Do y'all smell him? Everybody looks at me and everybody just separates from me. It's like, I'm right here and everybody in the group, everybody in the classroom just go to the corner. On some TV shit. I'm like, I just felt so embarrassed, bruh. So embarrassed. Walked out the classroom, bruh. I ain't gonna lie. You might be asking what happened from there. I just went to the bathroom and started crying. I was smelling like shit. I came back to the classroom. A teacher understood, so I wasn't in trouble. A teacher understood. My girlfriend just like looking at me, just like, she had her nose like this. She was like. At the time, she did used to mess with this other nigga before me, and we was all in the same class. 
whole time she was right next to him, if borderline right in front of him on some shit. So it's like she chose up already. Arch nemesis got my ass. Stinky as hell. Girlfriend left me. My nigga clowning me in the corner. Had to be the worst day of my life. Nothing else wrong could happen. Right? Wrong. Tch, wrong. When I tell you this bitch was petty, she was petty. Watch this shit, bruh. So as we chilling, as I'm chilling, <laughs> my fault. Nobody else is chilling after that shit. We go to the next period. Shit's cool, whatever. I'm by myself in that period. And after that period, we got damn near, I could, you could say recess. But it's like for like three classes and we all go outside and shit. I'm chilling and I finally get a breather. No, literally. I finally get a breather. You feel what I'm saying? And there's one bitch. We already know who it is, bro. She got her own little group, own little posse. She's telling everybody, oh, Tyro smells, Tyro smells, Tyro smells. So I'm over there with my friends, my guys. We playing on Nintendo DS type shit. We just chilling. We on the curb sitting down. And we notice like a whole big crowd just formulating around us. I'm like, no way. No way. She comes up and stands right in front of me. You know you smell, right? I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't run nowhere. I couldn't go nowhere. I couldn't say nothing prerogative. I just sit there and took it. She was flaming my ass. The, the crowd, you would think the crowd is like a soundboard. They, ooh. You're not gonna do nothing about it? You just gonna take that? You're lame. And you stink. When I tell you my chest. My chest, I felt a burning sensation. It was like, ooh. I'm like fire. But I couldn't, I was stuck. I'm just sitting there. Tears falling down, just crying. Stop, you're hurting him. His stench is hurting our nose. It was nothing I could do. The people trying to stick up for me. It was just like a, it, it was like a 90 feet, 90 feet vibe. I couldn't do nothing. That had to be the worst, worst experience of my life, bro. I feel like from that day on, I wouldn't say I consistently put on deodorant. I was still one of them musty niggas. <laughs> I ain't start, you know what I'm saying, care about my hygiene until high school. After that, I wouldn't say I consistently put on deodorant, but I made sure I took a shower every night, you know. I made sure I smelled at least up the par before I went to school. You know, because that was the most, you know what I'm saying, humiliating experiences in my life. In my life. In my life. That's more humiliating than a kid getting a number one on the wall. All baldy because they got in trouble in school. Teachers laughing at me. They hearing the shit. I know they was laughing at me. We going back inside. We all walking inside. And it's like a big gap. We would have to walk in a line. But it'd be like a line, me, and the other line. It was like a big gap. I'm like, yo. <laughs> yo. It was some Davy Jones locker shit, bruh. Like, I might be gonna sit here and act like I didn't stink because, like, I wrenched. Like, it was bad. Like, like, like dead ass. Like, dead ass. Like, I smelled like dead ass. It got to a point, I went into the bathroom, took some tissue, shit, wiped my ass and smelled that hoe. Ripe. When I tell you ripe, I was in a different type of stench. I didn't even think I could smell that bad. It was so bad. It was so bad. I remember I was sitting down in the class, and then after I left that period, I would see niggas recording the seat with flashlights. Someone even sniffed that hoe. On some weird shit. Someone even sniffed that hoe and said, Oh my god, it's him. To make matters even worse, I went home. And usually my dog would like, you know what I'm saying, come greet me. Be excited to come see me as soon as I open the door. I locked the door, he'd come and jump up on me. I unlocked the door, my dog came up to me, running, then ran away. No! He's running, then runs away on some get out shit. I started questioning my own reality. I came home and went straight in the shower. My mom ain't never seen me do that before. She's thinking there's something wrong. There is something wrong. I wanted to transfer. And that I did. And that I did. I transferred schools right after that. I had to get out of there. There's no way you can show your face in the school after that shit. You know what I'm saying? But the next year, I did bounce back. I came back. You know what I mean? I came back or whatever. Whole different nigga. Whole different hairstyle. Different drip. Different style. You feel what I'm saying? I was fucking with me. Arch Nemesis wasn't there. So it was just like a whole new lifestyle. I didn't even know who I was. You feel me? A uh, very humiliating experience. I say it scoped me to the person I am today. I'm a very hygienic person now. Like, I don't think you'll ever see me smelling bad. Like, we could damn near go hoop or go outside and have active activities. And I still wouldn't smell bad. That's how much belief I have in myself. Um, taking care of yourself is very important. I find there's people out there that's not taking care of yourself if you're watching this video. Come on. It's always good to have a morning and night routine. As well as just keeping yourself up to par when it comes to hygienics. Ain't nothing feminine about smelling good, bro. Don't get that twisted. I used to think the same thing, but I always knew I'd be smelling good because I knew I loved the smell of my mama's fragrances. Like, I never liked the smell of cologne, but I, like, always let it smell of, like, perfume and shit. Y'all might call it weird. I don't care. I'd rather smell like a rose than fucking car parts, my nigga. <laughs> Cologne's is actually shit. That strong-ass masculine shit. I didn't want to smell like that, bro. I'd rather smell like daisies. Blueberries. 
What? I got water smell like that. Nobody want to smell strong as hell all the time. What the hell? Nah, but definitely take care of your hygiene. That's not something to play about when it comes to putting whatever, putting on your body and in your body. That's very important. Uh, I feel like I took that for granted when I was little, but it's never too late to get started. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said before, very humiliating video. Um, Embarrassing as well, but like I said, I ain't going to stop the content. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I, so much shit I did in my life, and I'm going to keep putting it on the media. I ain't going to lie. I got my, I gotta get my wisdom teeth out, and I'm definitely gonna vlog that, cause it's on 10 right now, it's aching, I got an appointment tomorrow at 10, by the time I drop this, I'm gonna probably already be through that, but, I'm gonna definitely give y'all that video, me going through all of it, you know what I'm saying, cause I, I've seen the videos where it get crazy, and I know y'all wanna see that, that's some good content, and I'm gonna give it to y'all, but y'all have a great rest of the day, bro, y'all take care, man, stay safe out there, cool now.